Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are really doing well. So guys, today I'm going to share you share with you all few products that I bought in 2020 and it didn't really suit me or I didn't like it. So yeah, um, they, these are just random stuff that I bought and uh, you know, I didn't really like it and it didn't work for me. And also let me tell you this, I'm giving you a little disclaimer that uh, they, this might include some products that are like uh, that you that are your favorites. But see, every person is different. Their skin types are different. So don't bash in the comment section that oh, this is the good product and you are you know defame, uh, defaming it and all of those things see it didn't work for me that's why it is in this list so yeah uh, now without any further ado let's get started and also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel now let's get started okay so the first product here in the list is the most famous product and the most overhyped product for me and this is this Claire's vitamin c serum and uh, it costed for around 1500 and i'm still guilty of you know buying this it didn't suit me okay i'm not saying that the product is bad or anything like that it just didn't suit me and on the uh, and on the contrary instead of doing some good things it did damage my skin which was which is why i really don't like this product at all and the thing is i can't even use it anywhere on my body else but Bec uh, also because it's not working okay and an, this is just a no product for me i know this is uh favorites of so many people but oh my god what do i say but this is this is not worth it okay this is this is really not worth it the next product that uh, i didn't like is this avino active natural daily moisturizing lotion okay it is a body lotion and uh, it works really well as a body lotion okay but i bought this because on the recommendation of so many youtubers that this uh, because they said that this can be used on the on your face as well and uh, because the ingredients are pretty much good and that's why the that was the reason why i bought this and it didn't really suit me like it uh, didn't cause any breakout on my skin but it irritated my eyes so that's the reason why i can't use it on my face and that was the purpose why i bought it so yeah for that reason it is a no for me but if you are if you want to use it as a body lotion which it is so it is a good product so that's why i didn't like it so the next product that i would say is this pond super light gel which i didn't like i know i know i know i have made a separate video on this uh, product saying that it is full of cam though it is full of chemicals but it really works for me and it was the, uh, like and i was saying the truth okay but later on when i used it for a longer period of time i realized it also irritated my skin okay like uh, i have sensitive eyes okay and product do tend to irritate my eyes and i don't want to use any product which would irritate my eyes so yeah that's the problem it irritated my eyes and now the situation is like if i apply this on my face my eyes will start watering like this okay so yeah for that reason this is a no no product for me okay so the next product is this uh, uh, Alves Goodness Licorice Toner okay I wanted to use a toner I wanted to introduce a toner in my skincare routine I always use rose water but I wanted to you know try something out so I bought this and Alves Goodness is a good company okay and I know that uh, because I have I'm using so many you know uh, powders from this company and they are really good so i bought this and oh my god i have worse experience with this product because you know i'd even did a patch test before using it on my face behind my ears and it didn't do anything okay so i was like okay let's get now i'll use it and the moment i sprayed it on my face my face started burning okay it turned red completely it was burning and it became you know really hot my face become became really hot okay and i immediately rushed to the bathroom i washed my face and you know but still my face was burning and then i had to you know apply aloe vera gel on my face for two three days continuously to you know soothe my skin because it was that irritated so it did the worst to me okay but uh, my brother used it okay see it is over my, my my brother used it and it was he was completely fine with it it didn't cause any reaction on his face but uh, it didn't suit me at all so that's why it's a no no product for me so the next product that i regret buying is this wadi herbals uh, deep moisturizing hand and body lotion okay so it is a natural body lotion if you want to use something which has you know all the natural ingredients you can use it uh, i also bought it because of the same reason but it's not the re the problem with this is it doesn't you know it doesn't really moisturizes your skin that well once you apply it for after two hours yeah i guess after two hours your skin will 
start feeling dry again so there's no point using a body lotion that doesn't even provide you moisturization for longer enough so yeah instead of this use this it really does provide a lot of hydration it's just that don't use it on your face okay so yeah this is much better than this so yeah it's a no no product for me the next product that i wanted to share with you is this it is a face wash from the brand Assure. It is their clarifying face wash enriched with carrot and neem seed oil beads. Okay, I have seen people using this a lot. So I also purchased this because of that. But it is, it's like, I don't want to say anything about it. It's like, nah, no, 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 don't use it. Like, I didn't like it at all. It has fragrance on in the top 10, like in the ingredient list. When you read the ingredient list, it has fragrance in the top 10 you know numbers okay and i'm like what it's not even the fragrance is not even at the lowest you know uh, lowest it's not in the lowest ingredients okay it's on the highest one okay and i don't have problem with fragrance in the wash of treatments but still it, it's it's just not good i don't want to say anything else it's, it's just not good i didn't like it yeah that's it okay so the next product is also favorite of so many people and this is this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock SPF 50 Plus with PA plus plus plus. This is actually a very nice sunscreen. Okay, the moment I started using it, using it, I was in love with this product because it was doing such a great job on my face. But I don't know what is with my eyes. Every product tends to you know irritate my eyes, and after using it for like a week or so it started irritating my eyes so i needed to stop using it and also uh, that at that point of time i didn't knew anything like physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen i didn't knew anything about it but as soon as i got to know about it i was like okay it's a chemical sunscreen and i really don't want to use chemical sunscreen now it's not like they are bad it's just like i want to shift to the physical ones just to be on the safe side and uh, yeah i mean this is a good product and I, and I still use it okay sometimes i use it what i do is i just don't apply it anywhere near my eyes i use it all over my face because i need to finish it off so yeah it is a good product you can use it but uh, it irritated my eyes so yeah and also i don't want to use a chemical sunscreen so yeah so the next product that I absolutely didn't like was this Nivea Soft. I don't know how you guys use this. Like, you know, I bought this reading, you know, good reviews and I was like, Nivea is a good company. I should like, I should probably try this. But the moment I applied this on my face, I broke out within five minutes. Okay, it was that bad for my skin. But my aunt, although she is using it and it's not causing any irritation or breakout to her. But for me, it was a complete disaster. So it also comes in the category of the product that i really don't like okay so the next product the last product is this uh, aroma magic cucumber sunscreen lotion with spf 30 okay uh it doesn't have any pa plus plus and the moment uh, when i was purchasing it i didn't saw that that it doesn't have a pa rating and i purchased it and which is bad i know and uh, the thing that I really hate about this product is it's an okay product. Okay, I don't really hate this product or, you know, or I don't even like this product either. But uh, the thing about this product that I hate is that it's texture. I don't know whether you can listen or not. It is all watery. Okay, the moment you open it, you just need to do this and it will all see. This is the texture. This is the reason why I don't like it. Like, I can make it work, but see this, I, I just hate this texture, like it's all like water in it, okay, so that is the reason why I don't like it. And uh, coming to the SPF factor, I don't think that it is really eff that effective, so yeah, that's the reason why I don't like it and it has a lot of essential oil, so if you are someone who, whose skin is really sensitive to all these things, you can't really use this product, so yeah, that's the reason why I don't like this product. Okay, so these were the products that I didn't like. And let me give you a quick disclaimer. It's not that I'm going to throw them away. Okay, I'm still using them. I'm you. Uh, this is almost over. And this and this, I could use it just once or twice and it will be over because there's nothing left much. Okay, and uh, this is a body lotion. I am using it and I'm loving it also. This is also body lotion. The, it's just not that effective, but it is okay. So I'm using both of them. I will use it and I'll com completely finish it. I'm all still using the sunscreen because, you know, because 2020 has taught us so many things. So you, 
you should not really waste anything so i'm using it it's okay i'll just finish it up and uh, the face wash is okay i mean i'm using it my brother is using it i'm just trying to over it up so that's what i'm doing and the only product that i'm not going to use is this because firstly it has turned yellow and i can't really use it anywhere on my body also because it has given me dark patches and i don't want that so yeah this is the only product that i'm not going to use so yeah that's it for today's video if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and also a very happy new year to you all and uh, may this year brings a lot of happiness and good health to you so yeah that's it for today's video tata -ta. bye bye